Hello guys, welcome back. Today we are going to work on another UI design and this time it's Ghost of Tsushima. As always, um, I'm going to share the PSD file with you so you can pick it apart and have a little play with it. And my only uh, request is that um, when the video reaches 100 likes, that's when I'm going to share the link to the PSD file. I hope this is fair and uh, let me know in the comment section uh, what would you like to see next okay let's get on with this one so this is going to be a breakdown video and what we're going to do this is the reference i have here and this is the recreated version and um let me just walk you through quickly the file so all right here we are so we got the header we got the background and uh, let me just uh, remove everything so i extracted the background it's just simply just going with the uh, content of our field and just remove these bits from here and these bits here as well so you can see it's kind of shows it's not entirely horrible <laughs> but it could be better anyway um and then i added the header so the header was very interesting because you know i wanted to do this kind of like you know like kind of cut out uh, from the side it's kind of like a distressed kind of look and I, I do feel that they might use a, a mask here but I wanted to keep everything vectorized so I ended up changing that bit but I got fairly close I guess and the idea here is basically you take a brush stroke and then in, you create it as a vector shape like you can see here if I press B you can see it's it's an actual um, vector shape basically so the way to do that you can go into um, so you could potentially go and visit the website I really like it's called texturelab.org there's a bunch of really cool free resources there and I think I just ended up like downloading one of this ink paint and then once you download it you can just basically open a preview right click copy image and then open your illustrator and then literally just uh, command we will uh, insert paste it in for you so you can just you know play with it and the first thing you want to do i'm oh, sorry uh, oops all right where are you i'm not that <laughs> used to illustrator i barely use it but i do like how you can turn image into any sort of vector stuff so what happens here, you can you can just select this file. I'm going to just kind of place it in the middle here so you can see what happens. Uh, you need to come to your uh, properties panel and image trace. You can also get it from the windows panel and then just, just open image trace. So you press image trace and then you'll just choose any of these. I normally go with the default. Okay, so once you open, uh, once you press default, it already turns it into uh, like a default um, image trace vector and all you need to do is just go here next to this uh, next to the presets and uh, you can open the advanced settings so what you need to do is what i like to do uh, okay so what i like to do is the first thing ignore white so that will basically remove all the white that's why i wanted to move it in the middle so you can see I normally go with the corners 100% and path 100% and then just remove the noise to zero or a, I mean one and then playing with the threshold how much details you want you want less you go down you want more you go up I normally go about 200 and that normally works for me so that's how I would go about it and then the final results I'm gonna show if you press expand and then you can still play with this right you can just kind of like take this duplicate it turn it around and uh, you know move it to the other side and, and maybe um reflect it uh, vertically horizontally yeah something like that you know so a kind of this is the, you can play with this i i did i don't remember which uh, picture i used so that's why i was just I, i'm I'll have this here but the idea is that you would you would select these you can merge them and then you can open your brush settings here and then just press um, new brush and import it as a art brush and the only thing I normally change is the colorization method change it to tint and shades 
uh, tints and shades and then just press OK. And then from now on, if you would uh, if you would use your brush here and then this is selected for you, then you can just basically just start, you know, painting some stuff here. Okay. I mean, this looks horrible, to be honest. I, I don't like it at all, but I just wanted to show you the method. And then, you know, it, it requires a bit of fine tuning, but, you know, all of this you could do. I'm going to show you a bit later on the video how to do other stuff with it. But at this point, I will just... Come, um, yeah, what a very important thing. I'm gonna take this back. So when you play with this and you're happy with your result, go to edit, uh, sorry, object and uh, expand appearance. And then once that's done, you can come and see, come on way into Photoshop, but needs to be expanded. Okay, so I'm gonna come and see and come on we here and then paste it as a shape layer. There we go. And the size is not really good you know when you want a, a good size i mean this is a vector so at this point it doesn't really matter because you can easily uh, resize it without any quality loss um so so like that i would imagine something like that yeah i think so okay so let's name this uh, base two and so what happens here, as you can see, my base has got this gradient of feel on it, like uh, this here. So it's not black, it's just dark gray to light gray. And I did change a little bit um, uh, the, the style from linear, I changed to diamond, uh, which gives this kind of diamond kind of shape. And I think you can see it if I start dragging it. Uh, I have to sometimes you have to open it again so you can see like you see how I'm dragging this up and down this diamond kind of gradient um, so I got the scale set to 200 and uh, method to classic I'm just gonna cancel copy this just to save some time um, copy shape attributes and then paste it on the base too so we got it here um, even though I copied it it's not going to copy the 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 diamond uh, gradient location so I have to pull it down a little bit drag it down a little bit like this okay and then I'll just duplicate this layer and what I'm going to do I change from gradient just to normal black uh, fill and call this texture to there we go change the fill to um, zero uh, I don't even know do we need to do that maybe not Anyway, uh, this was actually, uh, I think this is the texture. No, that's my new layer. That's the, yeah, this one here is texture here. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, let's use uh, zero and then let's add this pattern. So we go to the pattern overlay and I use this uh, wrinkled paper pattern and um yeah it's pretty nice so what we need to do uh, i can manipulate how much i want to see from it just by changing the the diamond shape gradient here so something like this would be fine i think yeah like that and this texture i have a pattern it's basically this one here the wrinkled paper one this is all on uh, texture labs uh, website so you can just go into like you know I think it's in paper yeah it's somewhere here in the papers uh, folder don't really know where uh, yeah but there's so much cool um, pattern and, and texture here it's really worth to go and visit that website okay so once that's done we can just basically use our text and the text I used here was uh, let's see I think it's Trajan Sense Pro that's that's the one I found the closest to the Gozo Tsushima one so now that it's done I'm going to just basically yeah I just wanted to show you how I've done that and then we can move on to the next section which is going to be the skills tree okay so this is really nice I really like this gold kind of effect what they have on the, on the um, uh, active skills uh, or purchased skills 
and then they got the silver one on the ones are available to purchase and so there's a couple of things i did here which was i think pretty interesting so how this build up let's just uh, kind of go and have a look what happens here okay i'm just gonna so if you don't want to close all these folders you can always just go up to the top hold down an option key and then close the folder when you open it again it will be all nicely closed for you so that's a little tip okay let's go to number one okay and that's basically purchased yeah this is the one here so what happens here i got the top one which is the gold one that's that's the one i want to go through got the icon that's basically um it's just a vector shape I recreated. It's, yeah, it's uh, in, in a couple of uh, earlier videos of mine, I show you a couple, uh, some techniques how you can build these shapes up easily. You don't necessarily have to go to Illustrator. You can because it's a lot easier there, but you can use Photoshop for that too, you know. Um, so the base is consists of two things, one base and one texture. As you can see, this is the base and then this is the texture. So what happens here, I'm just going to basically just put it on the side and then just um, show it to you. So what happened is here, let me just turn all these off and uh, and then the texture we don't need to see. So let's start off with the base. It's just a simple circle or oval. And then what I started to do is basically add the bevel. So here's the bevel and it's an inner bevel, 300% depth and six pixel size. I use, uh, I didn't touch the angle, I didn't touch the contour. Uh, I use linear dodge for highlight and multiply for shadow. And the interesting thing here, I think it's, it's really uh, good to bear in mind is the contour. So when you when you want a really nice sharp edge like this one here, you need to basically this is normally set to like 50. So the higher this is, the softer it becomes here on the edge. So the lower you go, let's you go to a zero. You see how sharp it is. So that's how you do that. So maybe that's too much for for, for us. Like 10% should be enough. You know, it depends how sharp you want this edge to be. I think it was like 20 for me. Anyway, let's go with 10 for now. And then we have got our stroke. And this stroke is basically just 8 pixel stroke and has got the color of uh, the C8AA6B. And so this, the, the, the bevel numbers already basically applied, the contours apply, apply, already applied. And what I wanted to do is basically an outer kind of um, stroke as well. So that's why I did one more stroke here and that's the this this dark there okay drop shadow that's fine yeah i wonder like you could go because i did add a texture on the top which is kind of this gold kind of uh, uh, uh material kind of stuff but i wonder how would it look like if we go to textures here and then we'll just select one of our texture we have you know so i, I got a couple of these grunge texture even this wrinkled paper what i was telling you about and then you will just play with the scale you know you could do that don't really like it anyway so this texture here what we're going to add to the top is basically uh i don't even think we need this contour i'm not sure why is that um because probably i duplicated the file um the, the layer and it just remained there but it doesn't affect anything stroke here this is the interesting thing size eight uh, screen blend mode 50% and I do use this gold pattern um, material also from the same website um, but I'm gonna include it in a PSD as soon as we reach 100 likes so get in there and um, let's get those likes coming in okay anyway uh, repress okay and yeah this is what I wanted to actually show you like the scale effects here the 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 fineness of this texture let, let me show you if i go to 100 percent you see it's gonna be a bit larger and it's not it doesn't really look as great but you go down to like you know 50 oops sorry 50 and it's so much nicer now you can play with uh, i mean i this is kind of the light what the ghost of tsushima uses but you could easily go and change the uh, the light 
contour from here I think uh, that's pretty nice would need a bit more work in the middle obviously but it's quite interesting this is really interesting as well and I like it a lot um, definitely needs a bit of a uh, tweak on the angle maybe something like that but looks so so much more realistic you know but anyway um, I'm not gonna do it because I want to go to closer to what they have so this kind of uh, smooth kind of stuff which is pretty cool okay we got the check mark on the top basically oh, is this the one no it's not that's not the one because I just copy these two here there we go we don't need it so the check uh, on the top is just a shape layer here and I added um, just a gradient you know a radial gradient for linear burn and uh, that's how it achieved this kind of uh, uh, um, uh, what's that it's just a gradient isn't it okay check mark okay and um, it's just basically again uh, just a shape I built in Photoshop and I added a stroke which is just a light uh, yellow color EEEC7 you know just to give a bit of depth there that's pretty much it and then these icons here they they only have the, the icon design and then they only have this base shape and the base shape is just uh, having two strokes one this dark on the side on the outside and then another one which is the green inside so you see this is the dark which is two pixel and there's another one underneath which is this gray color and that's six pixel that's all it is and then a drop shadow so there's nothing else to it so this one was a bit trickier and uh, let's let's see how it actually build up but i'm going to show you this first because it's slightly different but um this silver is a bit slightly different and i think i think my problem was with that one and i had to change it is because there is this kind of gradient going across here from light to dark and they don't have it on the gold ones you see they don't have it on the gold ones they only have it on the on the, on the silver ones so i'm like okay that's um need to change a bit how i'm doing it so the idea here let me just remove everything you'll have the base and then the base will have this same thing you got the stroke which is eight pixel and almost white actually white and then we got the stroke uh, the black stroke which is outside one pixel you see that one there i'll add it back and then we have the bevel and emboss the same thing 300 pixel depth size 6 didn't touch the angle didn't touch the the contour uh, i did touch i think a little bit the multi, um, the shadow and uh, yeah i think i'm gonna go back to 50. yeah so the important part here was uh, the contour because if you don't use the contour it will have this very soft round cornered edge i don't want that so we go to contour and we go down to I use 20 I'll go down to 10 just to sh make it sharper even more okay so that's pretty much it we got a drop shadow but that's all let's just show you 50% distance 3 4 nothing else and this layer here above is just this gradient what we see on the top here right and the way I did that gradient is literally just using the gradient on the shape so the feel itself is a is a black to white um, yeah white to black um, gradient nothing else the texture what we apply here is this um, grunge texture we pattern we use and this one is a slightly different one than the other one and it's basically not that one this one the noise pattern yeah yeah that's that's the one i use using there and and that's how it builds up i use the same on this design but i increase the size and this backdrop the the red one here it was really interesting to make and i'm use basically the same technique like on the header here and the idea is that on the website here you can go into um paint 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 yeah ink slash paint and then you you'll go down and just uh, browse it a little bit i think on page three and four you'll yeah you start to see these really interesting brush paint strokes 
and all you have to do is literally just open a preview up and then copy the image and then as I show you before you literally just um, let me just zoom out oh, let's clean this up I don't know just come and we and then it'll, it'll just drop it in for you so that's how it 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 looks and um, well let's let's work with this one for now okay I'm just gonna actually go like this and let's see how it goes okay so all you do is just go to image trace default and again open the advanced settings and the first thing is ignore white and then change the path to 100% corner 100% noise 1% and then just uh, change the threshold to how much you want to see for me about 200 normally works and then you basically to complete this uh, transformation or vectorization basically you will need to go and press expand once that's done you can put it on the side open your brush settings and then just edit as an art brush uh, change the colorization method tints and shades okay and then all we do is just to basically create that circle so my technique is just to go here and then kind of like measures like how big is this you have to keep in mind that it's that stroke is going to be applied on the um, so that brush stroke going to be applied on the stroke so it's going to be from outside and you cannot center it or you cannot put it inside so you have to bear in mind that it's basically I need about a size like this which is about I, I would say at least 110 because it's going to go outside so let's go back now here and then just go look 100 110 by 110 and then we'll just basically um, use the stroke from the brush we have here and there it is oops let me just put it back so there it is and as you can see it's basically applied to the outside okay and if you're not happy with this gap here you can duplicate it and just basically turn it around a tiny bit you know the way you want it and then just select both and in the pathfinder just oh no sorry first before you do that you have to go to object expand and once that's expand then you can uh, unify them so it's gonna be one uh, shape and then you select it command V and let's just uh, go in here and just remove this command V shape layer there we go oh, it made the same color that's great so you can just you can easily just select the one the base here and then just uh, place it in the middle like that and it's really it's smaller than I expected so I'm just gonna go and expand it for like for, uh, yeah let's see like that something like that maybe even a bit more you know you can play with it something like that uh, one more thing I was I changed on here is basically as you can see it has got a bit more grunge and the way I did that one basically is just uh, applying a pattern overlay okay and uh, here we are let me just show you so I use this pattern overlay on 10% and it's basically this 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 grunge pattern here like that okay so opening up a pattern overlay yeah it just adds it to, to it that's fine snap the origin there we go and then we can play with them okie dokie and from here we can just you know do whatever we want with it so that's great uh, okay what else we have okay I'm just going to go through my stuff yeah it's just wireframes I made uh, oops it's just kind of like yeah that's fine okay and then the description underneath here it's basically the same kind of technique follows I use the font to build this up and uh, that's pretty much the the design I wanted to share with you today and I think from the future I'm going to focus on something 
uh, something different than recreation. I, I did a bunch of recreation that these are absolutely amazing for practice and I did learn so much. But I'm thinking to, to change and shake things a bit up and come out with original designs. I'm thinking to have like um, specific movies, for example. I'm thinking to do uh, like a UI design for the boys TV show from Amazon. I really love it. And I think it would be a really cool um, uh, concepting project for me to make like, I don't know, like uh, Homelanders, uh, Skill Select or inventory or whatever um, uh, screen so that should be fun and uh, let me know in the comment section what do you think about it and if you have got any suggestion for me uh, what kind of uh, uh, project I could incorporate it and, um, and and do a design for it like a, like a game UI design for it okay um, if you like the video please hit the like button because that's really important we reach 100 and I'm gonna share the PSD file with you and I think that's fair. And um, um, yeah, talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.